We take many photos using smartphone and DSLR cameras. Some of our photos suffer from exposure errors. We can categorize these into overexposure and underexposure. Such images are challenging for photo editing software to correct. To understand exposure errors, we need to examine how cameras work. The incoming scene radiance hits the camera sensor to produce a raw RGB image. This raw image is processed by the camera's ISP to produce the final standard RGB image. Exposure affects the raw image in a linear manner and is controlled by the camera's aperture, shutter speed, and ISO or gain value. The aperture, shutter speed, and ISO are typically controlled by the camera's auto exposure algorithm. Incorrect settings of these values can result in over or underexposed images. Most prior work focused on correcting underexposed images using both deep learning and signal processing based algorithms. There is significantly less work focused on overexposed images. In this paper, we present a deep learning method that targets both types of exposure errors. Our method processes the sRGB input to enhance the image quality. To begin, we need to generate a paired data set of properly exposed images and corresponding poorly exposed images. Many prior works did this by directly modifying the sRGB image using tonal adjustments such as gamma or linear scale operators. These synthetic results do not look like errors that would be produced on the camera. The arrows show regions of noticeable differences. This is because exposure errors happen early in the camera processing pipeline. This led us to develop a data set that starts directly with raw images. Specifically, we use the Adobe MIT 5K data set and apply digital exposures to the linear raw images. We then render the raw images using a software camera ISP to produce several sRGB images of different exposures. We use the Adobe MIT 5K expert image that applies manual adjustments as our target ground truth image that is considered properly exposed. This procedure allowed us to produce a realistic data set of over 24,000 images. When compared with existing data sets, we can see our images span a much larger range of exposure errors. Our data set is publicly available. To correct exposure errors, we propose a multi-scale method that is illustrated here. We show an overexposed input image in its corresponding well-exposed reference image. Examining the Laplacian pyramid of both images, we can see much of the color information can be found in the lowest level of the pyramid. If we just swap the last level of the Laplacian pyramids, we can see immediate improvements to the quality of the image. These improvements continue as we walk up the pyramid levels. This inspired us to develop a multi-scale approach based on a Laplacian decomposition. Our method processes patches. For each patch, we compute its Laplacian decomposition. Our neural network processes each of these levels from the lowest to highest. The goal of each subnetwork is to predict the correction to the input Laplacian values at each level. The details of each subnetwork is shown here. This multi-scale approach allows us to enforce loss functions at each pyramid level as well as to the final reconstructed result. To further increase the perceptual quality of the result, we add an adversarial loss term. See our paper for more details on how we structure our adversarial loss. We compare our results against many methods. We evaluate the outputs based on PSNR, SSIM, and a perceptual index metric. Our approach achieves state-of-the-art results on images considered overexposed. Our approach achieves comparable results on underexposed images. Overall, we achieve among the best results with a single model that can fix both under- and overexposed errors. Here we show qualitative comparisons with prior work on overexposed images. Here we show results on images that have been underexposed. Here we show results on images outside our data set. We have no ground truth for these images. However, we can see our method produces visually pleasing results compared with the recent method targeting image enhancement. Our method does have limitations. We currently cannot handle large regions that are fully saturated or dark. This can lead to color bleeding in saturated regions or boosted noise in dark regions. To summarize, working directly from raw images, we have generated a realistic large-scale data set of over- and underexposed images. We have presented a multi-scale deep learning framework trained on this data set. Our deep model gives excellent performance on both under- and overexposed images. 